Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for checking out today's video where we're only going to be using a pencil, a pen, and this Crayola gray marker to create our entire weekly spread. And I'm really excited for us to get started today on creating an envelope inspired doodle weekly spread. The spread was inspired by Nicole over at Plans That Blossom. She had an amazing mood tracker that I just absolutely loved. And I was like, hey, I wanna try to draw those envelopes. So I decided to start doodling some of them out. And I was actually currently doing an online class and I got a little distracted and I created an entire page of these. And it was so much fun that I thought, you know what? Let's use these for an entire weekly spread. And that's what we're going to do today. The first thing that I wanna do though is show you how to draw these envelopes. So so if you want to use them for yourself in a spread or a mood tracker similar to what Nicole had done, you can do them. So each one of these is about four total. So we're going to cover kind of a long envelope, a short normal envelope, a postcard, kind of like a letter postage stamp and also a tag. And then what we're going to do is kind of put them all over the page and give them some space to do that. So the first thing that I want to show you how to draw is going to be this long envelope. So the first thing you're going to do is start out with a long rectangle shape. And if you're using a dot grid notebook, it's really easy just to follow those lines and create a tall rectangle. Then what you're going to do is across the top and across the bottom is just you're going to do like that envelope flap. And all that is is half an oval coming out like a little flap on the top and bottom. Now we're gonna draw the little string and the buttons where you tie them around. So just two circles, one over top of the envelope flap, one right below, and you're just gonna draw a connecting line and then the line down the center just to create that crease in the envelope. Now what's cool about these is you can draw them in any way or any shape. You can choose to keep the tie on there or in this case we're not, we're gonna draw two circles, one inside the other and some little squiggly lines to the right and that's gonna look like a postage stamp. The next one that we're going to draw is going to be the closed envelope. So we're going to start with a horizontally long rectangle. And then from the top right and the top left of that rectangle, you're gonna draw down to a point. That's gonna create the flap. And from the bottom left and the bottom right, you're gonna draw it angled up just to the left and right of that middle point here, nice and easy. Now let's go ahead and draw an opened envelope. I'm just gonna turn my page real quick here. The shape is very similar, except we're only going to draw the left, the bottom, and the right hand side of this. We're going to keep the top open, but we're still going to draw those angles down to create that envelope flap like we did before. And we're gonna draw those angled up here on the left and the right hand side like we did before. Now, we're going to draw kind of a mirrored version of that V going upwards from those corners. And then you're gonna go ahead and just outline right underneath of it with another line. And that's going to look like the sticky part of the inside of the envelope. I love how easy these are when you break them down and understand and then you can just draw these a million times like we're going to. The next one here is going to be kind of like a letter with a stamp in the bottom corner. This one is super easy. You're just going to draw a rectangle or a square, whatever shape you want to use for this, you totally can. And then you're going to add another one right on top on the inside. Pick a corner that you want for your stamp, just draw a small square in that corner and then you're all done for that one. The next thing we're going to draw is going to be a postcard. You'll see that I've done these in a few different ways, vertically, horizontally, but they're really easy to do. You're going to draw another long horizontal rectangle. In the top right corner, you're gonna draw a square for your postage stamp. And that's just a few lines. It can be straight or squiggly, whatever you want for an address. And then right next to that to the left, a quick line down the middle. And there you go, an easy postcard. The last thing that we're going to draw is this tag. This is just a really nice and easy tag that I learned to draw and I just can do it so easily. So you're going to draw another rectangle shape again, but you're not gonna draw on the left-hand side. You're going to create this curved edge here. So you're going to draw two angles down. Don't let them touch, they'll leave a little bit of space. We're going to draw a line down the left-hand side and just add in a pattern, in this case, diagonal lines. And then on the right hand side, we're going to draw two circles inside of each other and then two lines coming out from there like a tie string. Now to add these drop shadows, it's so easy to do. We're going to use this Crayola marker here, just in gray. You can use any color or any brush pen that you want. And all we're going to do is all the way down this page and we're going to be consistent is underline it on the bottom and up the right hand side. In the case of this tag here, we're also going to do those angles, but only on the right hand sides of these. And as you can see, it just adds that extra bit of elevation to your page. And because everything's consistent, it looks super cool. Now that we know how to draw all of these shapes, it's time to take these ideas and bring them into our weekly spread. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got planned for this week. Using the Arch and Olive Square Notebook, which I am just such a fan of, it's so incredibly fun, I decided that I'm going to go with another square type layout. 
So what we're going to do for this to include the days of the week, as well as these cool patterns, is on the left hand side, I broke it down into nine squares. This allows me to create my Monday through Friday by skipping every other square. So starting in the top left and working my way down. And in all of those open squares, that's where I'm going to have the patterns with the envelopes, the tags, and the postcards. On the right hand side, I'm just going to do big, huge folders, and that's going to be where I'm going to keep all of my notes and my tasks. So this full spread will have our weekly overview on the left and our notes and tasks on the right hand side. I've already sketched everything in here just to be able to move this along faster. I don't think you want to watch me uh, counting, but if you are following along with me, as you might know, I have a resource grid layout in the back of my notebook, which has been so incredibly helpful. And because I know that I needed this three by three by three grid, it was super easy just to go ahead back there and be like, okay, I need to count over 11 spaces for each one of these squares, both top and bottom. We've skipped two in between each ones. And I've just left those open spaces. And then I've gone in and just pre-doodled all of the envelopes and tags and everything else that I need to do here. Now that I have them all laid out in here, it's really easy to follow through what I want. And then on the right hand side, I just quickly sketched in those tops and bottoms of those envelopes so that when I go with my ruler, it's nice and easy. Now for this, I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward. Like I said, I have this tall gel pen that I got from Office Depot. As a part of their ambassador program, I've had a great honor of working with these tools. And I just love this blue ink pen. It works so nicely. I'm gonna grab my ruler and all I'm doing here first is going to connect all of the sides of my squares for where I'm going to put the days of the week. I'm not going to draw lines around the envelope patterns where I have them. I want to leave them open. That'll create some really cool negative space. But for the rest of these, I like to create containers. Up next, I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler and just quickly draw in these big large folders over on the right hand side. Now that I have all of my base spaces in here, I am going to go through the wonderful grueling task of re-going over all of these patterns with this pen. I love using pencils first to sketch things in first. I just like to know that my spacing's correct. I can erase things if I need to. Even though it's a little bit of double work, for me, I don't feel super confident in my sketching skills right off the bat with something like a pen or even a marker. So I like to go in first. And then it's super easy just to go over top of them with your pen. That way you know exactly what your spacing is. You don't have to worry about any mistakes. And that way everything looks great at the end. So the last thing we'll do is just create that same drop shadow that we did in the beginning of this video with this gray Crayola marker. You could use any marker, anything you want, but I always find that grays, dark or light look really great as those drop shadows. But I've done it with color as well and it always looks super fun and vibrant. The last little thing I need to do here is just add in those little diagonal lines that I had on those tags on the other page. All right, we've got all of our details on the side of here, all of our envelopes, our postcards, our tags, everything is drawn in and we have our drop shadows and and the last thing we need to do is just add the titles for the days of the week, as well as our headers for our task and our notes over on the right hand side. All right, we're all set up for the entire week. This was so much fun to put together. And while it is a little bit more work than just a simple basic setup spread, it's so fun to create. And I was so inspired by these envelopes. I love being able to track my days of the week, have space for notes and tasks inside of this notebook. And it just really helps me get myself together for the week. So it's so much fun. If you are looking for other inspiration videos or anything else, I've got an entire playlist for you around just ideas that I've done in the past or things that have been inspiring me. You can check out that link above. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. It's always so much fun to create these with you. And I hope that you have some fun creating your your own spreads as well. I'll talk with you very soon. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. See ya.